Hi guys, how's it going? It's Marky. What's going on? <laughs> I found some nice P case Hot Wheels for uh, 2022, of course. And this is one of the new for 2022 cars, the Drone Duty. This car has something special going on. It detaches and uh, becomes a drone. So you can uh, rescue someone on the track that's in trouble quickly, you know, get there quickly. Hot Wheels Rescue Series number 10 of 10. The Drone Duty. There's the uh, graphics on the card, which look really nice. And let's check them out. Let's get them out of the package. Pretty happy to have found some new P-Case cars. I finally got P-Case in my hands. Just a few of them. So this one is a new casting. Never seen this before. Never even seen any previews about it or anything. So let's see how this works. Oh, okay. Cool. There you see the seats on the sides. And when someone's in trouble, you are connected. The two guys are connected to the uh, to the drone, and it flies up, flies up in the air. You see the little propellers right there. And it looks like maybe there's some turbines over here, small turbines, or small propellers over here in the front. And it'll fly and rescue someone. I just don't know where they're gonna put the guy. Maybe one guy will stay up on the ground and let the uh, injured person get in there or something like that. <laughs> but pretty cool rescue vehicle. It's got the number 101. Pretty nice, it's got the uh, Hot Wheels logo back here with the rescue logo. And that's pretty interesting. So we can snap it back together, I guess. You can see right there. Snap it back in place. And now you see the, the guys are right there. And it clicks and everything when you snap it together. That is pretty, pretty cool. Pretty creative when they uh, <clears throat> put some of these Hot Wheels together. Pizza wheels or flower wheels, whatever you want to call these. I like to call them pizza slices. Look at that. <laughs> And some people call them flower wheels. And there it is. The markings down here, drone duty. Copyright 2022. Wow, they didn't put the previous here like they usually do. Big fat tires on this one. So they keep changing the way they do things. And that kind of like uh, throws everything off now. Because you would see this and think it's a 2023 model. But it comes in P case of 2022 so almost one of the last cases the next one will be q case and that'll be the final case for 2022 so we only have p case and q case to go and then we're into 2023 here's the track ripper from spoiler alert series another cool find from p case by the way you can see the last letter here that tells you what case the cars come from for p case of 2022 and you can see it's stamped or copyrighted 2021 the year before that's how they usually do it and the cars usually are marked like that but well we do have one that is not marked that way and this one is called the track ripper track ripper see the name down here pretty cool the track ripper really nice colors on the track ripper by the way beautiful red color spoiler alert series and that means we can Pop this up. It's kind of hard to. There we go. And when it's in the up position, you can do the super loop, loop de loop, and take the curves a little easier. And it just got loose. There we go. And it has a lot of nice uh, tampo work on it. Look at that. Spoiler alert. MWG Racing, we have the KG, with the checkered flag, Hot Wheels logo. Pretty cool. And we have the, have the uh, Hot Wheels logo right in front as well, or the little badge. Nice. Let me get it closer. There we go. 
very very cool nice colors i like the red chrome on the uh wheel in the front and then we have the the chrome just plain chrome in the back and i call these the spider web wheels spider web wheels <laughs> i came up with that i don't know what they call those wheels but i just call them the spider webs that's what they remind me of we do have a left side drive no mirrors on the side no windshield wiper we do have that big wing in the back look at that and no extra colors on the back here very nice the base kind of plain not a lot of details of engine parts or anything like that track ripper r26 stamped right there hot wheels name and copyright 2017 there's been a few of these out there i think the last one was like a seafoam green or a light blue color and now in red and white with the black accents it looks really cool i like that they changed the wheels a little bit with the red and the chrome in the back pretty cool and there's the uh graphics on the card once again special feature which is shown right here the spoiler goes up and down very cool p case car got a couple of that right there and i also found the cockney cab 2 red white and blue taxi very very cool this is a p case find you can see right there p case cockney cab 2 hot wheels metro series let's get him out Beautiful uh, graphics on the card. Oh man, they didn't paint the lights. Look at that. We needed the lights to be paint painted in. 10 of 10 in the series. Very cool. It's a really nice taxi. Definitely a race car tra uh, taxi. Hot Wheels race car. And you see the Hot Wheels name right there on the uh, Union Jack flag, which is the British flag. The Union Jack taxi. Four door vehicle right there you see the two doors and they open up and uh all blue in the back here no extra colors no license plate they do they have the spot there and everything but no colors check out the pipe sticking out exhaust through the back through the way back <laughs> and then we have a nice large long front front end right there and the body is all plastic on this one but the metal is on the base so the metal uh, base, metal grill, the pipes are plastic. This part here is plastic. The engine must be plastic if there's one in there. We do have the gray disc wheels, big fat tires in the back, smaller ones in the front, the Cockney Cab 2. Copyright 2005 and 2014, made in Malaysia, also stamped R26 on the base right there. Hot Wheels logo and all. Very cool. Look at the blower up here. What is that? <laughs> and we're missing some colors there on the lights. So that would be cool if we had those painted in. I guess you can do that on your own and make it look a little better. But what a beauty. Yeah, I'm liking that uh, Cockney Cab and those colors. Very, very nice. Here's another P case find. Look at that. There's the P. <clears throat> the MST Suzuka in orange. And it's an art car series. You can see the letter I right there on the uh, roof. So you can put all your art cars together and spell out a name or, or the name of your favorite sports team, your, <clears throat> your uh, significant other, whatever you want. <laughs> your city, your state, or your country your favorite band, anything you want. Just put your, all of your art cards together and spell out. Spell out your name, that'll be cool. Look at that little robotic looking guy right there. Some, looks like maybe some Japanese uh, letters there. And here he is again, kind of looks like a transformer robot. Oh wow, orange, orange in the back, no extra colors. We do have a nice big giant wing. Letter I, blue tires with the yellow wheels. Oh, wow, look, the tampa work is different on this side. Here he's kicking. And here I can't tell. He's just kind of like looking on, right, or running or coming at you. You can see his face and his shoulders. Pretty cool. It's like a transformer guy. Is that a car that exists right now? Hmm, can't remember. A Hot Wheels Transformer that looks like that, but maybe it's from one of the video games. I don't know. 
Not sure. Let's check on the card real quick and see if there's any information on the back. Hot Wheels are cars, color for inspired vehicles, ready to paint the town. That's all it says. Empowering on the next uh, generation. Very, very nice uh, color combo. The black and orange, kind of like a Halloween color. And then the blue and orange looks good as well. Blue base. What does it say here? MST Suzuka. Let me know what this is from. I have a feeling it might be from a video game. The MST Suzuka. I haven't gotten any of the Hot Wheels uh, race car video games. So maybe this is from one of the video games. I know there's a lot of Hot Wheels uh, games out there. So maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe it's from one of those games. And I also found, wow, these are really cool. I'm really liking these. PK's special feature, you can take this one apart. The custom small block from the Experi, Experi Motors, hard to say, Experi Motors series, eight of 10. Look at this, the custom small block. Now comes in green and yellow and red combination. Yellow, I mean, green body with a yellow engine and then the uh, red canopy or, or windshield. Very nice with the chrome red wheels. Custom small block metal base and plastic body. I am loving these uh, custom small block cars and all these new uh, cars that they're coming out with this uh, year. And I think uh, somewhere throughout uh, last year they started, I think, 2021. I think so. I think it goes back to 2021 where they started issuing some of these Lego lookalikes. Uh, cars that go look alike cars and this is really cool if you haven't seen these oh wow look at the flames the hot wheels flames kind of cast it in there hot wheels logo back here very cool number one hot wheels racing so yeah so these uh look like legos and you can take them apart you can, this one you can detach the engine and the windshield and now you have just the base and there's the exhaust i guess a lego brick showing the exhaust so basically the body is just a big giant Lego brick and the front end has the two little lights which are kind of like a, in a grill back there, part of the Lego block or the Lego body. And then you have this big giant piece of metal on the bottom which gives it a nice amount of weight. Copyright 2020 on this one. So yeah, I think this one was out 2021 as a first edition in 2021. And we can put them back together by... Uh, Putting the uh, canopy back on and the engine. Oh, I did that wrong, didn't I? How does that go again? The engine goes in the front. There we go. How do I know that? Because I have one here right next to me. One of the earlier ones that was uh, issued with the red uh, base. And the, uh, looks actually it looks orange, purple tires, Yellow body, green engine, purple windshield, which looks blue on camera, but it's purple, totally purple. And purple uh, tires as well. Wow, that's pretty cool. Now I got a couple of these. And they did issue, the last one was a blue one before the new green one. We had this blue one, which is really cool. So now I have a bunch of these. More than enough to race. They all have the number one on them. Oh, wait, where's the number one on this one? No number. Hey. Oh, I see what they did. This one has a different tempo. It says small block on the bottom. And then this, these two have the same kind of shape or design. So you just uh, change the colors a little bit. Hot Wheels Racing, number one. This one just says custom small block and does have the Hot Wheels logo. But look at that, they changed it up a little bit. The body's the same, right? It has the same cutaway there. Yeah, with the two little attachments there for the bricks. Yeah, same thing, same body. They just changed the tampo uh, colors, which is pretty cool. I'm loving these uh, Lego cars. I think they're gonna be pretty popular and as uh, Lego people start to discover them, they're gonna be looking for them because I know the people that love Legos are kind of like addicted. <laughs> I know because my brother is addicted to Legos. And guess what? I do also have 
the Breaking Trail, which is really cool. Breaking Trails with the S at the end, which is also a really cool car. Part of this uh, series kind of looks like a Bronco or a yeah, an older Bronco or a Jeep with a spare tire in the back. This is cool because this one has you can take off the spare tire and you can take off the uh, canopy or the windshield and put it back on there. Very cool. And put the you know, tire back on the back here. This is pretty cool. I like, I'm like. i liking this uh, series of Lego cars. I got this one, the last one. This is the first one, I think. And then the blue one came out, which is like a seafoam green or like a, a blue-green color. White wheels. And on this one, we have the yellow stripe. They did change up the wheels. See that? They're different. They didn't keep the same wheels. Totally different. But these are so cool. Loving these. And they came out with this one right here. Which I can't wait to get in another color. This one you can detach the wing in the back. I love how big they made the Hot Wheels logo on this one. And you can take that off. And you can detach the driver and the engine all in one. Isn't that cool? This one does have the number one on there. How can they all be number one? <laughs> and let me see, does this one go back here? Yeah, I think so. And then you have the, the wing back here. See if that looks right. Maybe it goes forward, I don't know. I think it goes there, but yeah, I think it goes over here. Nice. Definitely a race car, you can see that clearly. Nice race car. Beautiful. I'm just loving these uh, Lego <laughs> Lego cars. Uh, officially not Legos, but they look like Legos. <laughs> these are pretty cool. It's so awesome to have some new uh, PKs cars, by the way. Really awesome to have the PKs cars. Let me show you. I have some cars here. Might as well show you some of these cars. This car is already... Two years old, this Corvette. Do you remember this one? Or do you not have it in your collection? Let me know. Drop a comment. Let me know if you have these. I'm going to show you some of these uh, these cars that I have that have just turned two years old or are turning two years old now at the end of the year. Because this one came in a case of 2021. Not this year's a case, but the year before. So 2021 to 2022 a case is one year and then... Now we're around the corner from AK's 2023, making this car now two years old already. It really surprises me because I can just remember finding this one at Walmart. It took me a little while to find this uh, orange one, orange Corvette. This one is the C7 Z06. And I've seen this out there on the road. This car looks pretty, pretty interesting when you see it on the road. Pretty nice. It really stands out. Pops. It pops, especially when they're orange like that or red. So this one's two years old. And yeah, guys, this is a little bonus I'm throwing in this P-Case unboxing. A little bonus here with this nice uh, batch of cars that are from 2021 A-Case. They are two years old. Incredible. 2019 Audi R8 Spider in red. I do have the white one. I do have the blue one. But this is the red one that came out at the beginning of 2021. And I just love it. I think it's a really nice looking Audi. Has all the details on the back end and on the front end. All the colors that you hope for. The lights, the badge, the license plate, the grill. Just awesome. It's just an awesome car. The only thing, I don't like that steering wheel. But I like the, the visors there. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Really nice uh, interior except for that steering wheel. I don't know about that. But it has nice chrome double spokes on there. Five double spokes. Very cool. Very nice. So these two are pretty, pretty nice. Uh, pretty cool cars from a case of 2021. Here's another one. The Uno car. Now, I did get the blue one, which says DOS or DOS, which is number two. This is number one. The Uno is a one. So that's a Spanish word, of course, and it's the name of this game. There's a wild card, the Uno card, the four, three, the one, and the two. 
the plastic grill, plastic engine. We do have a metal blower die cast body in red. It's so beautiful. This red enamel with all these uh, colors on it, they just really stand out really nicely. 32 Ford, one of my favorite Fords, the 32 Ford. And I love the, the 34 as well. The three window 34 is so nice. This little 32 Ford, so cool. These little hot rods, which remind me of that band ZZ Top, by the way. They kind of have some of these uh, little old cars in some of their videos. And then I got this one. These are all from the same A case. This one is the Sprinter Torino, which is a Toyota. And I love it with the Falcon uh, livery. It looks so awesome. Very, very cool. Get a little closer here. This one is out. I think the last one was the red one. I know there's a black one out there. I got the black one. I got the red one. I got a white one. But I think the red one is the last one. I bought a bunch of the red ones. I have like, I don't know, three or four of them. Toyota AE86 Sprinter Torino N35 stamped down there. And you see copyright 2020. Here's the exhaust on the side there. This is such an awesome little Toyota. Nice race car right there. It does have windshield wipers and the little mirrors on the side. And it is a right side drive. See the little steering wheel on the right. Right there. Kind of hard to see. It's a little dark in there with all the windows rolled up. Sometimes when the windows are rolled down in the front, you can see a little better. But these are so, so nice, these uh, Hot Wheels. Here's another one from A-Case. The nice uh, Bentley. Look at that. Green. I do have a darker green one. I have a white one. And maybe a couple others. I don't know. Can't remember right now. But this one was also a uh, beautiful car to hunt down. The Bentley Continental GT3. The copyright is 2018. And I think there was a, a 2019 or 2020 edition that I was also hunting down. I remember it was hard to find at first. The Bentley was a really cool find. Metal uh, body with the uh, plastic base. Nice mirrors on the side. We do have that number eight on the hood there. And we have the nice uh, windshield wipers in there. The color is just amazing. A really nice metallic green color. And then we have these gray, gray uh, graphics on the side with the number eight and the Hot Wheels logo. Bentley name on the wing. Just just a really cool Bentley. Total, total uh, race car. Nice uh, spoiler in the front. Loving it. Another beautiful A-Case car. Here's a nice car that... Uh, let's get a little dust off of him. These get so dusty. They attract everything. There must be static on these Hot Wheels or something that attract all the little dust particles. But anyhow, this is the 2020 Ford Shelby GT500. What a car. There's the exhaust. Back end. Beautiful metallic blue color, blacked out wheels. There's the Cobra right there. Two stripes on the bottom, same thing on this side. We do have the side view mirrors. Oh wow, look at that. This is all plastic, this little grill right there. Or these vents. And the racing stripes look amazing in white against that nice blue color. Awesome, awesome looking. Ford Shelby GT500. I love this one. So nice. Really, really cool car. And check this out. This is another one from the same case. A case of 2021. The Monte Carlo Super Sport. Check out the big scoop on the hood there. And let's get some of that dust off. Wow, big, big fat tires in the back on this Monte Carlo. Look at that. Look at that. Very nice. These are such uh, cool graphics. Nice, kind of like lightning bolts coming across from the back or from the front to the back, either way. And they come right across the door there. This one does have the windows rolled down. It is a left side drive. No mirrors on the side on this car. And it doesn't look like we see any windshield wipers on there. It does have the smoky windows, the little window in the back, and the back window here. 
Nice details casted in the back here, but no extra colors. Gray wheels. Check out the nice, nice uh, lenses on the uh, the lights there. The grill is there. Should have been painted in black or whatever. But they just went with the white. Very nice stripes on the scoop. That looks so cool. Same color matching the uh, side. Really nice tampo work. Beautiful. This looks so nice. I wonder if these are going to become super rare, these kind of tampos, because they're, they're using a lot of the little matrix kind of dots. And this one has like a wine color interior. A really nice uh, combination for the Monte Carlo Super Sport. It's an 86, 86 Monte Carlo. Copyright is 2010 on this one. And then I have a nice racing car. Look at this. Another racing car. A lot of racing cars in A-Case of 2021. Look at this with the number four. Oh, man. Hot Wheels Racing, BF Goodrich, and the Chevrolet logo or badge. Look at that Hot Wheels logo. How cool with the black outline instead of the white since it's against a white car. It looks cool. It looks really nice. I love the Hot Wheels logo. just brings happiness to me. <laughs> Hot Wheels has been with me my whole life. I just love them since I was a kid. Number four on the door. And do you think I ever get sick of Hot Wheels? I do, actually. I actually get tired sometimes. And I take a little break. And don't play with them as much. But then it comes back. <laughs> it keeps coming back. I can't let go of my Hot Wheels. I just love them. Love them too much. Wow, this is a really nice uh, number Four on the door there, and number four in red on top. Really nice uh, car. Let's see. What is it? What is it? 2010 Chevy Impala. I totally forgot that it was an Impala. I'm looking at it going, oh, my God, I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> it happens, man. It happens. Even with all the cars you uh, collect, you still forget their names. At least I do. <laughs> I'm way, way imperfect, I guess. Man, this one's a nice Impala. Look at that. Check out that four. All the little colors on there. The stripes and that number four in yellow with the black outline. That looks so cool. I just love that Hot Wheels logo there. Really nice. Another really cool car that came out in a case of 2021. The Triumph. I just love this Triumph. Oh, man. What a beauty. The Triumph TR6. I always love this little car. Look at that, right side drive. Is that gasoline or nitro? What is that? <laughs> Nitrogen, okay, number 54 on the hood. Black stripes, golden black and white happening right here on the door. Ah, looks cool, looks cool. Black stripes on the back end. Gold stripe around the wheel. Oh man, so cool. Spiderweb black wheels in the middle there. This one has nice weight to it. I don't know what it is, but it feels really heavy. Really cool, the Triumph TR6. Nice. Copyright on this one, 2009. I have the red one. I don't have a lot of the other variations of this one. I think I just have the green and the red in my collection, from what I remember. And then they came out with this other green in a case of 2021. Look at this. The Super Sport Camaro convertible. Is it a 69 or a 67? 69. Should have known by the uh, arrow head right here. The arrow front end. The uh, 67 is flat straight across. They are similar looking, but there's a few differences. This one has a little tail back here. Really cool. Gold wheels. Big fat tires in the back. Look at that. 69 Camaro. Nice black interior. And this is uh, not my brother's favorite car. He loves the 67. That's his favorite. Yeah, my brother loves the 67 Camaro. That's his favorite car. I love it too. It's an awesome car. Awesome car. It's one of my top favorites. Very, very cool. And they also came out with this race car. Look at this. What is this, a Camaro, a Firebird? What is this? Pro Stock Camaro, 2010 Pro Stock. 
Matt Flynn name on there. This one has an even bigger Hot Wheels logo, much bigger than the Impala. Look at that. Yep, they beat you, Impala. <laughs> the Pro Stock beat you. He's got a big, giant Hot Wheels logo with the original colors. It looks amazing. It really does. This is a really nice blue enamel color. It kind of has like the race team uh, color going on. It doesn't say race team on there, but it's really nice. I don't remember what it said on the card, but look at this giant thing up here. <laughs> and across the hood, Hot Wheels. Nice. There's the Chevrolet badge or Chevy badge. Here's a parachute. Wheelie, uh, wheelie bar in the back. A 2010 Pro Stock Camaro. Nice. New in... 2021 AK sub 2021 in this color but now two years old that's what I'm trying to say that it's two years old also this white Porsche two years old now um AK sub 2021 amazing amazing another really cool 1996 Porsche Carrera man so nice there's the Carrera name back there exhaust on the bottom All the windows rolled up, dark windows. This one has partial windshield wiper on the glass and partial uh, molded right there in the die cast. And we do have the mirrors on the side. Very, very nice. Another one from the Gasser, Nova Gasser, 64 Chevy Nova Gasser, Southeast Gassers Association. It's got the Goodyear, it's got the Chevrolet, it's got the Hot Wheels. Look at that. Oh my God. Amazing. <laughs> So cool. So this one came out in uh, 2021, eight case. It's got some garbage on there. 1964 Chevy Nova Gasser, made in Malaysia. The copyright 2018. I have this one in a lot of different colors. It's a cool Gasser. Gasser wagon, very cool. Here's another Porsche from a case of 2021. And I'm saying a case of 2021 too much. <laughs> 2007 is the copyright for this uh, nice, oh, did I say Porsche? I meant Corvette, I'm sorry. 64 Corvette Stingray. Why did I call you a Porsche? Oh, because I was checking out the Porsche over there with the circles on it. Crazy, crazy. That's a Stingray, Corvette Stingray. Here's the Porsche. Big difference, guys. Look at that. I had a friend who had a blue one, was driving a blue one of these. Pretty amazing car. The Stingray. I also love the bicycles, the Schwinn Stingrays. Those are cool. Love those old school bicycles. Check this out. Gray on gray. Dark interior. The Stinger. 2019 Kia Stinger GT. This car I've seen on the road. It looks really, really nice on the road. I, rec I recognized it immediately just from owning a couple of Hot Wheels. I do have the blue one. And I believe the red one and I think the black one. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's been out in those colors. And uh, it's a beautiful car. Came out in this color for a case of 2021. And so this did this uh, Mercedes come out that same case. Four-door car, mirrors on the side. Beautiful Mercedes in a metallic silver color. And what are the markings? 2019 Mercedes-Benz A-Class. And they've made a few of these. They've been making, this one's been pretty active, this casting. Left side drive, we do have the windshield wipers. We do have the mirrors on the side, four doors. Little gate in the back, a little wing. There's a lock and key right there. Or is that the badge? That might be the badge. Kind of a plain base. See the exhaust over here in the back, lights on the bottom, lights on the top. Very, very nice. Look at all the detail here. Nice big chunk of glass. And it's kind of like a flat silver, like a flat silver. It doesn't shine a lot. Very matte. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm going to see you in the next one.